Meow. Hello everyone and welcome to what I'm guessing is going to be the final part of what remains of Edith Finch. And if we take a look at what does remain of Edith Finch, we have Edie, Dawn, and perhaps Odin? We've seen everybody else and <laughs> I think this is going to be a doozy here because these are the three biggest ones, right? The mom, the grandma, and the person who started it all, Odin. So, let's go take a peek here into the game and see what this game's got for us. Again, I think we're close to the end. Really curious to see how they wrap it all up together here. Kind of nervous about it at the same time, too. We'll see. I don't know. back from Lewis's funeral, my mom told me to start packing. She waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. Let's go inside. What's all this? Oh I boy. Wish we'd stayed. Not the packing peanuts. What happened? But I understand why we left. Do I gotta crawl in through here perhaps? Sorta looks like maybe. No? Edith and Mom? Huh. So I'll walk this over here. What's over this way? My mom ended up leaving everything behind. What happened that night had been coming for a long time. Maybe it should have come sooner. This game's so sad, man. <laughs> the whole the whole narrative is just depressing. But it had to end one way or another. All that's left now is to tell you about that last night. Well, what's going on here then? Last day, Edie just watched us pack and didn't say a word. Until supper, when she raised her glass and said, To our final night together, and all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Edith, specific. I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go open it? The grown ups have to argue now. I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last- I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. I like presents. <laughs> Let's see what's going the on The power over had here. been shut off that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. When my mom sailed the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. <laughs> or hint, that Edie had a key to it. <laughs> okay, I just have to check something. Do I have a big belly? <gasps> My belly's gone. Okay, so I just figured, just wanted to check to see if they put that detail in there. <laughs> that thing you're afraid of isn't going to end when you leave the house. she afraid of the curse? That's my interpretation, I guess. Like this family curse where everybody dies? Edith has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your stories. I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning. Okay? Jesus. Dear Edith, there's so many stories I wish I could tell you, but there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. That night, the tide went way, way out. It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. 
There'd been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. Is she gonna walk over God, there? It smelled awful. I bet you it did. No. <laughs> I've seen that house every day of my life. But I never thought I'd go back to it. When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. I got turned around. I kind of am at the point where I don't really feel like I need to say much right now. I just kind of want to soak in the story. For a while, I wandered. The environment. Just let it just let it settle in, man. It's too good to talk over, you know? I it's started seeing things. The deer again, man. Things I'd forgotten had ever existed. But when I saw them, they felt like old friends. That night. A lot of things came back to me. Or maybe I came back to them. I suppose there's still a light on here. <laughs> things I can't explain, but that I need you to try and eat it. What are you doing in here? It's mine. Edith! Mom, you're gonna rip it! Let go! I kicked and screamed, but... Mom dragged me to the car. I never saw Great Grandma Edie again. The next morning, the van came to pick her up, but she was already gone. After that, we moved around a lot. I used to do this all the time. We both tried to make the best of it. A few years went by. Bunch of letters on this thing, that's cool. <laughs> what do I do with it? Do I blow on it? I'm trying to. It won't My let me. Like to talk about it. But she started getting sick a lot. <coughs> the rest happened pretty quickly. She got better for a while, and then she didn't. And then I was alone. The last finch left alive. Until I found out about you. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes. And appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. This journal was supposed to be for you. But now I hope you'll never see it. I just want to meet you and tell you all these stories myself. But I guess if you're reading this now, things didn't work out that way. This is where your story begins.
I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask, but I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck.